we thank God for his abundant grace. Amen. I greet you all around the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Yet Danyamia say, or not dumb amroso. If you are seeing for Nangina, Michiamo, yes, Amen. Today is edition 101 mm. of the ability to see. The Abema, what to me, dear Huna, dear Yeno, and nay any far, a tossu or ha any bacon. Let's hear the heavens report for today. God's protection is the most important. If you don't have God's protection, you are nothing. You are like a chick without a hen. And any hawk can easily catch you. So live to please God and he will always protect you. Amen. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Nyankupon bambo ena ehun hiya pa. Se unni nyame bamba unsefi. Uti se akukoba akukoba taino enka hon. Na akroma biara ebe tume achi hon. Anunti chase na so nyame eni na anonso ebobo hon ba en da. Weye osofo Dr. Kukudazi amane boa be the free heaven. Amen. Last week, I compared the state of the church now to the situation of Israel during the days of Eli, the high priest. Yeah. The glory of the Lord has departed from today's church. Yes. Now what you say, Mono, may the Asori no say, say, Tibiano, et to two Israel, who so for penny Eli na breso. Nyan kupon eni mo nyam e free as sorry no se say. As Israel followed the nations of the world, lived like them, and sinned against God, and didn't heed his constant warnings until he delivered them into the hands of their enemies, and they were taken captives and carried into exile. So are church people doing today. Said ye Israel, a di a mana mana wo ya siechi. Na what na city se wong. Na wa ye boni tie nyame. Na wan tie nyan kupon koko ba o di bo won debia. Eko si se o di won she won a tamfon sa. Emma wo fa won no mum e di won ko a manoneno. Sa na sorry nan so e ye ne. Israel paid a heavy price for neglecting God, their spiritual backbone. Hmm. Israel, it is a book of sheer power who na mani. Se wadi nyamia, oye wadi yina ye wansi echre abano esinjai. They lost God's favor and protection, so the enemies could do whatever they wanted. With them. Or shre nyan kupon any mutier any de bambo. Enunti a tamfono etime ye diena wo pebiara ewo wansu. The same thing is happening to the church of today. Sa ene tu ene asoreno. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ has also abandoned God's principles and are following the ways of the world. Eradi Yesu Christo asore nonso atu nyankupon enshi shaye achene na wodi eviase echi. Church people have fallen into worldliness, as I always say, and have also lost God's favor and protection. A sorry for a she a viasimo said the debia mecano. Nama wants so a shre yan coupon any mutier any nebambo. Demons are doing what they want 
with today's preachers and church people, just like they did with Israel in those days. At that morning, I didn't in Sempa come for any a sorry for a year they won't pay. Said you would be Israel, yeah, a war, a nanoa, a chemono. When demons trap preachers and church people like ants and they enjoy the demonic bait of sugar, which is money and sexual immorality, they forget that they can easily be crushed. Say Adamoni Sum and Sempakafo any asorko for fidye to say in tetia. Nese wani j Adamoni a sitchreno a ye sika any a jamai and who de no. No wa re fise wo be to me et yi tia or so I will force cross. The bait of demonic enjoyment has made the preachers and church people of today forget themselves at that money a deaf a deaf a year in the general a ma a name sempa kafo any a circle for refi wong they have forgotten that the demonic sugar draws them away from god and the sugar will not always be there what refi said at that money a city you know a chew on a free yanko ponchain. Na a sit reden so and wahoda. They have forgotten about their vulnerability and spiritual protection. We will feed empire water and ne won soon soon more bamboo. They don't know that by going along the lines of the world. To enjoy the demonic entrapment of money and sexual immorality, they lose God's protection. Yes. O nim se se o kofa evia se fuo kwaiso ne se o niji adamo ni mfi di sumua e yesika e ni e jamai e wu di enua o shere nyangu pong bamba. I want church people to comprehend that. You can't love the world and love God at the same time. Yeah. Me pesa a sorry cough for tears here, say. Unto me no yase. Now on sans so and don't yan coupon ever break on our When you tread on the path of the world, you lose your favor and protection from God. Yeah. Sao kofa e vyase e kwa eswa. O shre nyanko pon e ni moutye e ne ne bambo. In 1st Samuel chapter 8, Israel loved to be like the nations of the world. And that put them into a serious spiritual problem. Wa samwa nguma di kain ti mwa chenu. Israel kodo Said ye a mana mana a woe we are seen a yenubi. Nano, Eddie won't call she soon so more a how can see a pa emu. They didn't know that by loving the ways of the world, they compromised their spiritual security. Yeah. No one nim say, So could do if you are see four quire. One casa will soon so more bambo. Another or to a good. Mm -hmm. Israel forgot that spiritual security is very, very, very important. Israel refused who said, Soon, soon, mu bam body, a who here, papa, papa, papa. The same thing has affected today's church. Sa, and a enya, and nay, a sorry. Today's preachers and church people don't know that spiritual security is paramount. And if they lose it from God, they are doomed. And they in some pakafoni are sorry for a name say, Sun sumu bambodye, and no ni adia unia pa. Nesa o shri efri nyamehua. 
Oye wa bra bobo. Mm-hmm. Musio pa na akam. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen to you. Mm-hmm. Be bia be to me at all. Mm-hmm. As a small community called AI defeated Israel in Joshua chapter 7 and they fled from their presence, so it is with the church of God today. Mm-hmm. The church has lost her immune system. Mm -hmm. They have become vulnerable to every demonic spiritual attack. Mm -hmm. And any small demonic attack kills them. Said ye, eni pekuo kituwa ebiya, ne wo bebiya ne frawon e aino, wo di Israel sun kunim e wo Joshua ngomano, e tin son, Emma wo jani free wo anim no sa ana etie ewo enei asori enso asori na shiri de enyankopon edidua enipa mu a ema esi ni bone ho kwai no wadam pain na damon in tunsha so kitwa bia etime ku won today's church people suffer the same diseases as worldly people E nei asori fono, e huna mane, e wo yare kronwa, e yasi fono susu, e huna hun amane no. Kansa mm-hmm. kills worldly people. It kills preachers and church people too. Mm-hmm. Yari ya enu ye dry friend, kansa no, e kum yasi fono, na e san susu kum, en sempaka fo, e ne asori fono su. Worldly people die strangely. Preachers and church people also die strangely. If you are suffering to me, you will be a and one will be anti as here. In some pacafo, any a sorry for so so, a woo, a woo, and one will be anti as here. Today's preachers and church people don't see that they have lost God's divine healing. And spiritual protection. A name sem paka for ni a sorko phone to me who say Washiri nyan kupon ayare sakron kron and ne ni bambo. When God is with his people, evil diseases can't attack us. Because God is our healer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Se nyame ka ne nkrofo ho a adamu ni yare ye ntimi ntun hye ye so da e san se nyame ene ye yare safo hallelujah amen god is our neurologist he is our ophthalmologist he is our orthopedist and the pediatrician for our children so we and our children are very healthy in every part of our bodies. Mm-hmm. No demon can attack us with any evil disease. Amen. Hallelujah. Nyankupao ene yenyari safwa o she yagenesu. Nyankupao ene yenyari safwa o she yeniwasu. Onuansu su no he yen dompe ene yechim asu. Na onu susu ni o yare safwa o she ye maso. Mm-hmm. Enu nti ye ni ye ma ye wapo mu dinke siye pa. Mm-hmm. Ewo ye ni pedu ya kwa ni ngidara mm-hmm. emu. Adamo ni biara. Intu mi mfa adamo ni yare ye biara. Intu mi ntun she ye so. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore if you suffer any malfunction in any part of your body. Something is terribly wrong mm-hmm. with you. Yes. Anunti so huna mane. Ewo ni pedriano akwa no mu bebiara. E chese bibi atochima pa ewo uhu. Because today's preachers and church people have quenched the fire of the Holy Spirit, which is the spiritual security, they are on their own. 
Esanse nein sem pakafo ni asore kofo edum nyame onkronkron gya no a eye sunsun mu ebambo no nti no wo monko a ne wo a obi anka won by abandoning god's principles today's preachers and church people are spiritually unhealthy so what to nyankopon hiseye egu nti no Enen sempaka fo eni asori kofo no sunsun wo munni ahoden bia If you open your eyes wide and you see worldly things in any church it denotes that the holy spirit is absent Worldly things have driven the holy spirit away from the churches So wo bie wo ni pa me so who no a via cinema a was sorry more as yet they say nyame on crum crum in the hole a via cinema no a pam nyame on crum crum a free and sorry no it is the holy spirit who convicts people of sin and lets people feel guilty about their demonic behaviors therefore if a group of people gather in a house called church but don't have any guilt about their worldly indulgence it is an indication that the holy spirit is absent eh ye nyame won kronkron ene ma enipa hu boni na ma nipa nu won hu e fa adamo ne ne ye e hu anu ti se nipa bi e twashia wo fie bi a wo mo fre no asori e mu na se wa dwen mu won fo e wo wiase niam a wo ye ho de a ase kire se nyame hon kronkron eni ho worldly people go to the night club and drink alcohol and don't feel guilty about it some preachers and church people do the same e wiase fo no ko tena ba bi e kono mu nsa na jo abu wa bra wa dwen emu won fo nsempa ka fo binum ene asori fo binum eyesa won so adwen emu won fo the worldly women wear short skirts to expose themselves and don't feel guilty about it some church women also do the same and even do worse than the worldly people e wi ase fo ma binum ahishe ahishe nta de tietia e yi yi wo ho wa bra wa adwe mu won fo asori ko fo ma binum susu e ye sabi ne to de bia wo mu nta de ne kura e ti akura e chen wi ase fo ma do ei the worldly men and women use the word date and have sexual intimacy with their boyfriends and girlfriends Today's church people use the same term date mm. and also have sexual intimacy with their boyfriends and girlfriends. If you ask for me man and man, or mu di filibia, or mu can say me dating. Now, or mu ni one pina for me man or man or editor. And they are sorry for so so a disaffin. I can say me dating. Na wamu susu ni wamu prafo emane me man susu dida. Some worldly musicians look like fetish priests and use drugs. Some gospel musicians also appear the same and use drugs as well. If you ask for a jum to for a binum a da wa mwa di tise a konfo na wa sam fa in the bonin. Na nyame sam ho ajum to fo binum soso da wo ho di sa sa konfo na won soso e fa enuboni ni bi The way some preachers and their church members behave these days is like there are no laws from God Yes and there shouldn't be any law from him Hey Said ye enei en sempaka fo binum eni wo asori ma no eye no e kamia se emrabia emfri nyankopon ho na nsese emrabia soso efi ne hoba 
to the self-pleasing church people of today, nothing is a sin. Jesse, the ene I saw the four. What person was so woman? You know, a patch and say, "Bibia enye boni." They want to defend every action they take. And I'm more biara ube tuono. What person was jiji jiji huwa chini? What can say enye boni? I am shocked that some preachers and church people say that polygamy is not a sin. <laughs> Homosexuality and lesbianism are also not sins. Nothing is sinful in the eyes. <laughs> it's serious. Oh, I am in one more pass. And some pack of four binum anyone sort of for say our dudu and your pony. Bema ni yonko bema e dan soso omo si enye boni na oba soso ni yonko oba soso dan soso enu soso enye boni she say bibia enye boni wo omo ni so hey so what is sin then then you na boni ni die are they the ones who define sin or the Lord Jesus they claim to worship. Eh? A omu and a chred a friend of Bonnie. And now say a radi yesu Christo no woman as yes almost. Such people are seriously deceived by the demons in them. A home bonia a tis ancroff woman at that da won papa papa papa. What group in this world? Has no laws and regulations. Eh? A cool pain and a woe we are see her. Woman nimbra and she say be a woman. Eh? Demons, whom some people willingly decide to worship, give their worshippers unthinkable restrictions and heinous sacrifices to perform. A demonia. And the pebinum pinususe or best sum wano or ma wombra or ma woma sum wano a coincidia pia waji crying in home no mom bobu boy three more day a four year pa. As I said last time, even in the animal kingdom, there are laws. But the way some preachers and their church people talk today, it's as if they can do whatever they want. And nothing is sinful. Mm. Eh? Oh. Said the Debbie Mikan, you know. Womwa duma ahini mumpo emra wum. Then so said the and sem paka for binum any woman sorry for a ki can sem bin and say no. Ube kase ombeti mi aye di omupe. Na de bi a ye boni. Let me tell you something. If an illiterate has an opinion about education. Without knowing the educational structures, his opinion is fallacious. Maminka as a major. Se nipa oko suku da eni makin kaino to mintron. Se o aji bifa adisyon. No onim and she say ya a wo adisyemwa. Na jinia o wano enye papa. And if a non Christian has an opinion about the church. Without knowing what God demands from his people, his opinion is also futile. And I say, O Biswa on your Christoni, say, O Ajimbi Efa Asoreho, Wabra on him, the Yankupon, Ashi Shefrin and Crow for Hua, or no so so not geno, a Ajimu. Likewise, if someone who is not known in heaven, Refutes the existence of God and heaven. His refutation won't annul the existence of God and heaven. Correct. Samson or Binswa, yet dim no heaven. So, Kase, Nyan Kupon, and now heaven, Niwa. Or no so so, Nika or Kano. A man in Yese, Nyan Kupon, and heaven, and Niwampa. I want to inform today's preachers and church people who want to please themselves. And in order to do that, 
dispute the word of God that your opinion is worthless before God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like the Ghanaian preacher who says he's not afraid of the Bible. Yeah. Ah! Hmm. His statement denotes that he is not afraid of God. Because in John chapter 1 verse 1, it is stated that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So if he says he's not afraid of the word of God, he wants to say that he is not afraid of God. And it is obvious that such a preacher is not a servant of God. He is a demonic surrogate. It is a gun and he's or see or no no on slow nyanko passem. Not say more or can I say chess on slow nyanko pong. A son say, Wo you honey woman tibacun chichemu bacuno, what you say, and fitiasiano, na semino woho, na semino ne nyanko pong ne woho, na semino ye o nyanko pong. It is your cassa on slow nyanko passem. I say chess on slow yammy. Nanus so a daddy prefer say, on your nyanko pong. Or you are damn money, I see a name. Mm-hmm. Which servant will say that he is not afraid of the master's word? A qua bay and a becasse on Sroni Rasem. And which servant of God would dispute God's word? And a young coupa qua bay so so and a beji yamia sem who echini. It is only demonic surrogates who do that. Mm-hmm. God truth says that the Bible says that the Bible true servants don't do that. Mm-hmm. The prophets didn't do that. Mm-hmm. And the apostles also didn't do that. Mm-hmm. If that preacher says he is not afraid of the Bible and polygamy is not a sin, it denotes that he doesn't speak in the capacity as a servant of God. Mm. He speaks as an independent traditionalist. Mm. And if he is a believer in culture and the tradition of his ancestors, why is he calling his organization church? Eh? It denotes mm-hmm. that he is a confused person. Se san sem pakani no se on slow Bible. Na ware do do so nye bonia. A si e chse se on kasa se nyanko pon akwa. O kasa se atitisem ni pa o dene hon. Ne se uyo bi a uji a mamre eni atitisem wa e fa u nananom hon dia. A denti na ofre u kuo no se ya sorry. I said, I said, I'm again. Mm-hmm. When someone is getting mad, he starts seeing where he always lives as a strange place. Mm-hmm. Say, Obi bother me. Baby, I'm dead. I'm out here. No, I'm out here. Say, I'm baby. So I'm You are very stupid to sit under such a person. To think that he can take you to heaven. Hmm. Because anyone who disputes the word of God. Won't go to God in his kingdom. Hmm. The African preachers. Who want to defend their lustful behaviors and speak for ancestral traditional demons say that before the white man brought the Bible, their forefathers married a lot of women. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Because they are myopic and don't think about what they say, 
they don't comprehend that any lifestyle or practice in Africa before the white man brought the Bible has got nothing to do with God. Mm. They were doing their own thing and living their own lives the way they wanted. Mm. from Adamonia e jina o ma tete sem eni amamre no na o pa kire se an sana broni e di bible no e be ba no na wo nananum aware ware ma bebre no asem no ye ni kan pa e san se wa dwin sa ne mu ye halinti no wan kasa won nwini sem na wo kan ho ye onim se abrabo biara eni tibia biara Na wo bibre no an sana broni di bible no eba no na nnya me eni hweye na o man kasa bo o mabra bo se di o man kasa e bibia and if god wants people to live according to the way they lived before they met him then the bible didn't change anything na se nyankopon pese nipa e bo ya bra bo se di Ansana na Bible no beba no na wo bo no ade a e de na Bible no amesesa we If you want to live your life the same way as your ancestors why do you go to church and argue about the word of God mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. So pese u bo abrabo e ti se u nananu mo a wuwu ko a adenti na ko asori na ko ji nyankopo asem ho ji Stay away from church and live the life you want to live. Mm-hmm. If you think polygamy is not a sin, stay away from church. You can marry a thousand women like Solomon mm-hmm. and it will be your own cup of tea. Fira Solomon na bo wan kasa wa bra bo se de wan kasa ope. Se ye wa dwin se aware do do onye bone a. Wo betumi aware ma pim se de Solomon e ware ye no. E wan kasa wa se. I want to inform such myopic African preachers that God and the Bible are not for the whites only. Mm-hmm. Be say me kama e be before sem paka fo na o madwimu ye hare no ti ase ese. Nyankopon any Bible eni ho ma abrofo nko an. Because my God is love. He is calling all races. Mm-hmm. God is calling white and blacks. God is calling every color and creed. Yeah. He wants everyone to be with him in eternity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. E san se me nyankopon e yo dunti no. O fre ni petuntum ene ni pefufu. O fre ni pa hu su o yina bi sa wo mra ne nchen. No ne ne metna fibo e wo heaven. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and for me See on the portals is waiting and watching watching for you and for me Come home Come home ye who are weary come home softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling o oh sinner come home Jesus is calling you to come home me nyame your dopa no fre obi a ti na me tu sa nyum kakra kire o se ewrade di ni ni boko e tu nsa fre o se o di boye di ai brefi ewrade pese obi a ba ni chen what amen god wants every willing person to be with him in eternity nyame pese obi a o pre so bi ara se o be ba ni chen bi a o mra ni chen it doesn't matter whether you are white or black. Mm. And fahun 
so we ni petuntum and now we ni pefufu. Therefore, if you think that God and the Bible are for the whites only, and you don't want to go to God, but remain in your traditionalism, it is your own cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I don't think say yeah what Jane say. Nyanku pon any Bible no. I will hold my abrofun kwa. Next I will pass out be kony nyanku pon chain. Now trust wo what it is seven more. I will ankasa ubunsiya udi anomni ya gumway. When God is burning those who were unwilling to come to Him in the hellfire, you realize how stupid you had been. Se nyankupon e di ja e num dano e si wamo a e mpese e beba ni cheno a ho na obe hunu jimi pa wa jimi hu because such people are senseless they gather people and call the group church and dupe the people in the name of the same God they dispute his word eh e san se san ko fo no nyan san ni wamo tremonti no. Or Bob were Nipano, a fret, a cool say, Yeah, sorry. Now, Omo di Yancopa, Sam Cronoa, Omo di Huachi, you know, at the boo and Nipano at the Yawa. You should have called your group Ancestral Believers Organization and see if you would have gotten the followers, money, and properties you have. As I said, Kao Fre Ukuono say, Ye ye nipa ye ji atetisem eni amamre edi. Anka obe hun. So obe ye nipa ne diwa chino. Eni ye japadye no. Eni sika no awanya no. If you benefit from God and speak against this word, you have lost your mind. So u nye nye me hun faswo. Na u kaseti ya na se mwa. Wa june nye juma. Because such preachers are not of God, they don't understand the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The son says, "Son, some pakafu ano one free ni amenti no one ti and son sonya eda apam dada eni apam fufro no mu ase." They don't know that. There are some practices God allowed in the Old Testament, but are forbidden in the New. O nim se eni yebi wa wa nyanku pon pneso e wa pam dadanum ne mum apam fufre mu de wabra. And even the men God allowed to marry many women in the Old Testament. Read the Bible and see what. Their polygamous life brought to them. Nempo, a mema nyanku pon prinsu mo wari ma bebre e wo apam dada no mono. Kai Bible no ne shedi e wo ma wari dudu abra bono e di bre wong. Solomon, whom such people admire and want to copy his sexual lifestyle, his many wives didn't let him serve God properly. They turned his heart away from God, and Solomon died and went to hell. Solomon, ni pa bebre ni ji ne jamai abra bonu no peso usiano. E ma bebre ba wa ware wano wa mana nsumi yami ye. O dani na kuma efri yami hon. Na Solomon we e kabun samjim. And Abraham. Who was and is the symbol of Israel, God's people, didn't marry many women at the same time. Now Abraham, no, Gusu Jirawa said in Shaswa Edima Israel, Oye Nyankupon and Crofono, Wanwari Emma Bibre, Ewa Brekrona Emu. His intimacy with Hagar was a mistake. That was why God drove Hagar. Away from him. It was after the death of Sarah that Abraham married Ketura. In Kitahudia, or the Hega di Yeno, Nayam from so. And Untin and Yanko Ponchi Hega, a friend of Hono. A Sarah, a Wonechi, and Abraham Koware, 
Ketura. Abraham's marriage to Sarah until death allowed him to marry Ketura is the model of godly marriage. Awaria Abraham ware Sarah kosi so wo epine so emane ware Ketura no sa pepe pepe ene nyame som aware enhwaso. The same picture is in the New Testament now. In phone krono ene wo apamfofro no mzeze. In the New Testament, it is one man, one wife. As 1 Corinthians chapter 7 states, only death allows a man to remarry. Wo apamfo fromono, eye be ma bakon, o ba bakon, se de korinto fwa ngoma dikain, tin sonu ekano. Wo nkwa, ene penso ma be ma, etimi e wari fofro. You can remarry after the death of your partner. Say, Ukunu anao yiriwua ube tumi awarefufro. In the New Testament, no servant of God married many wives as God allowed in the old. Wa panfufro yimono, nyanku pan kuwa biye ni wa oware ma bebrei. Say, de nyanku pan prinsu e wa pam dadano. In the New Testament, it is one man, one wife. Just as God originally created one man and one wife. Mm. I mean Adam and Eve. Wo apamfu fro yi mono. E be ma bakun, e ni wo yiri bakun. Se di e ashasye no. Nyanku pon bo, e kunu bakun o ye Adam. E di ma yiri bakun o ye Hawa no. Therefore, if your ancestors have put lust in your body and you want to marry many women, go ahead and satisfy yourself like Solomon. You will be shocked in hell as Solomon was shocked in hell. Enunti, sa wun nananu me uwo di akono atina uni peduyemu. Na upe se uwari ma bebra kosu ne wari. Na uwo be jiru e wo bo sam janu. Said the Solomon, ni hu jiri no ewo bo samjano. Trying to argue about the word of God because of your lust can't change anything. Yeah. So pese o jiji e chini wo nyankupa asem ho, e sa a kono noa e ti omono die, en si sa we. That is how demons push some people to offend God for them to lose their spiritual protection mm -hmm. so that demons can do whatever they want with such people. Sa, and a damn a pian pian, the perpidum, a mawa fum fum yami, said ye bea obeshere un sun sum mu bambo. Na ma damn in so so, etimidi won ayedi o pebiara. Open your eyes wide and see what demons do to preachers who speak against God. Demonic death is in their homes. Bio wani pa ne shedi Adam money edi yen sempa kafwa o kaseti enyame Adam money wo e wo mufi. If what you defend is right, demons can't get access into your families to inflict unforgettable pain within. Said ye ujina chila ujiji huwe chijeno. Eya. Anka damoni e nyakwa e ma mabusi emu. Emfaya wa ure mfida eme muda. The abominable statements of such preachers have given access and legal grounds for demons to destroy them. E busu semnua sa ensempaka fwone kano. Ama adamo ni kwa eni nina so. Ama wa sewo. And sadly, they can't say that it's because they speak against God. And God is not with them. Na ea rehuse, ontume huse, ee kasa, omu kasa tiye nyamintia. 
Mm. If you speak against God, it opens doors for demons to do what they want with you and your family. So, Kasati Yamia, a beer coin, a madamuni, a yadi, a wope, a wawu, a ne wabusia, a su. And if you speak to offend God, who will deliver you if he comes after you? Eh? They say, oh, kasati yame. They say, oh, bauswa. Why in a bed you? Eh? Because some of today's preachers and church people have taken a stand against the word of God. They have lost their spiritual protection and have put themselves in a big spiritual problem. A son said, a name sem paka for any asor ko for binum wa jina bebia wa sori etie nyankopan semuntino wa shiri won sunsun bambo a e fri nyame on kronkron e ho na di wan ko shi sunsun mu e how ka sie pa emu time is fast spent i will continue next week god willing so be wise and don't do anything that will let you offend god for you to lose your spiritual protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are very wise and you want spiritual protection, give your life to Jesus by praying this prayer with me. So we are not saying that now we are not saying that 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 we are not saying I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people. For them to be wise, that they don't have to do anything to offend you and lose their protection from you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Da and then sunyami inshaw pa Onyadonfo and some awa ti sa umwe jiru. Radio station a wuti no. Eye ye sofu penny, Reverend Doctor Kukudazi Ephraim any preachy ye. A year one zero five point seven AP radio. Na oh, hey, a chair, quire, bra, kumasi, kasi, kasi, main road, you know, echo, kasi, chrome, or no. Ube, who say, feeling stations, et what was so. Na oh, who feeling station, ya. Ube, who say, goil feeling station, no. A quire be sad, the feeling station, any fasso, is sunny coffin. Ufa saa kwa ane suwa abe si fomu chaya. Enko bebi ebi yuma. Ube hu se ye signboard. E si ye ayon geti so. Kwe siyada ano peyi eye no unkunu. Ukuwada enyumre no unu mnifa. Eye Bible adisya. Ena ifiada enyumre no unu mnifa so. Eye mpaibo. Na ene ye papa chre ya miye hu se. Ene kriso suma ye sumno. Se ye de toto. Udi fo ilai. Ebre suwa. Na nyamien mu nyamno e fri won so no sane nen su nyamien mu nyamno a bo e krisofu wo mu nsori mu me de meka ne se asin power for de ye nka hu na ne senti ya e ma me ka se ane se ya tena se hu nu ahwehwe mu ehu niema a e koso won sori nsori mu ehu se eniema a e me nyame ebu fushu e be ni paso ene e koso won sori mu eni wiase mu Ene wun huno en sunsunia e da e wiasi ni ene kristo ni entem. Na se asore ni frerade pa 
wan kasa wata de a wahye ene obo ne bi a wutim no so wura nyame fie ne eka nyame asem a e ma wadwene bu fo e ma usori firi bone mu e san se hon kron kron o ye kron kron enti wotse nyame fie a o kasa kire wa obu wata ya on pe fi ni enti wa wutim no se wo nte enu enti wo be dane firi akwan bone ho e san se nyame hon kron kron e firi dem ho enti a die bi o mo ye bia o ma dwene emu o mo fo e na sofo no so o meka nyame asempa no ensempa no o ma chinchim no e san sa wono akasa wote boni mu no onye na dwen so o be firim e na hohom mane so de ka ne so nti die wo nyame asem a wo so wo ka no wadane dane no e bi na ye papa e ma example no the fact is say wo woni nyame nya dwen na wadane nyame asem enkyere se nyame asem no nye no kure na bisa ho se so wu anase yesu kristo ba usofu ni nebibu ate ya na obi ya ba kwa ni diya kubu wano wane huwa te usofu ni bebu ni diye enu niti kenkai nyami ya sem ne hunu se sofu no uwa mfile urade o dadao ne mwa mpa sorry ya nyami ya ukuru kuru tim na usofu ni ke nyami ya sem kuru jia atra u na sem no onfe bi mfra fra ye na uwa ube hunu se boni ya miti me bose mi jai na mwa mwa Men sum nyami ye na Kristo ba makobi. Da nyami shao pa. Amen. Amen, mama. My dear, if you want to go to heaven and you are not careful, demonic preachers will deceive you. Yeah. Unia, sa u pesa u ko heaven. Nesi wa yun she ya. A demon in sem pa kan fobe dadao. Yes. I will never have any problem with any way my Lord wants me to live. Mm. Be beer anywhere be hame. I will come beer a mura. A person me bomb a brabo because I want to be with him forever. Yes, and I will do anything to be with him forever. If you want to be with God, come to church. Eh, I will train you properly, and as I always say, you will see what you have never seen anywhere before. Yes, you will live wholly for God, and you can be confident to say that. If the Lord Jesus descends today, mm -hmm. you will be with him. Yeah. There's no demonic problem that can stand before the servant of God. Yeah. My God still has power mm -hmm. to deliver people from every demonic bondage. Yes. That is why I and my children, we always say that with God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. God bless you.